Yamaha saxophones have always been amazing, but they've come to another level, haven't they, now in the Genos? Yes, they have. And of course, from the beginning uh, of these, what we call super articulation and super articulation two voices, Yamaha was very well aware of the fact that, of course, brass and wind instruments, they work in a complete different way than keyboard instruments work. I mean, to do a piano, the interface of the piano, the interface of an organ is exactly the same on the keyboard because you've got a keyboard but a saxophone is a completely different instrument so from that point of view um, there has been a huge development in super articulation voices to make them very very realistic mm -hmm. but they really sound again much better on the um, on the genos because first of all we've got an extra super articulation switch so you don't have just two but you've got three different articulations and in general, the sound quality of Genos is just enhanced because of a lot of improvement of the analog boards, analog circuit boards inside. Yes. But, you know, I can talk for hours, but let me just give you an example. Um, first of all, uh, I have here the breathy tenor sax, so it's a very smooth saxophone sound. <laughs> And if you play like uh, bigger distances, like the seventh or the octave, you even don't have to push the articulation switch. It automatically happens. And that's on an octave that you're playing to get yes, that effect. Yes, the octave and the seventh, they do it. Here it doesn't do it, it just does from the seventh, so... This is automatically done by the instrument mm -hmm. because it's typical for a saxophone if he makes a bigger interval he many times they do like this so that's one and of course you can control it with the buttons very slightly but I like the ending of this one, number three. So realistic, isn't it? Yes. softly you know sometimes you can hear that almost the saxophone player is like talking to his instrument yes and you can also reach this effect by playing not too loud just playing soft oh, you're not pressing very hard no. at all now so if you press more loud and now it changes the sound a lot yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Because that's the dynamic of the instrument. It catches really the the big dynamic range of the saxophone just by automatically by playing. Because I think every player automatically um, has a kind of natural touch, and 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 if you automatically you, you you touch harder or you touch softer, and this gives this huge expression of this saxophone sound. <laughs> <laughs> and very low, it takes a really a long time. So first you hear very clearly the air coming in to the saxophone and then you hear the pitch. <laughs> great and don't be afraid to touch the buttons I mean 
you can never do anything wrong mm -hmm. you know so this is maybe in general don't be afraid to touch the controllers and even if it doesn't sound that well on that particular moment you learn a lot so i, I experience a lot of people they just sorry to say they are a little bit afraid yes definitely to touch, just do it and, mm -hmm. and 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 listen and 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 it's all it it, it, it works it always works somehow and uh, this is also, I think, uh, what they did very, very well, because Yamaha is also a producer of woodwind instruments, of, of brass instruments. So they know exactly how these instruments work. Yeah. And they almost transfer these, this data né, of these instruments, how they work, into these articulation buttons. So let me just play it again. I, I love just <laughs> playing this. That's a great sound, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's just very bad. <laughs> right, and then you get this magnificent sound, for example. Mm -hmm. 